On the night of April 18, 1992, in Naperville, Illinois, Kim Eastman and her husband John were going out to dinner to celebrate his birthday with friends. They made arrangements to leave their three children in the care of a 15-year-old babysitter who had looked after them many times before. The boys were very excited, ready to have just some fun with Marissa before it was bedtime. I think Megan's just about pretty tired right now, so she'll be going to sleep pretty soon for you. Uh, we're going to be first... We left the names and the phone numbers of the places where we were going. We worry about our children, as most parents do when they leave them behind, but we feel very confident that they're in good hands when we go out. Naperville dispatcher Andrea Haidu took the call for help. Okay, do you know your address? Um, I need a Wabash, Linda. 13. 15 what? Um, um, calm down. Um, I feel very frustrated that we aren't able to send immediate help to the location. I have three children of my own and we automatically want to get help there as soon as possible. bad for him that he was home alone with his little brother. It was dark out. I knew they had to be scared. And I just felt, you know, I wanted to be there to tell him it was going to be okay. Okay, how old are you, honey? Five. And my brother's two, three. Okay, is the baby, how old is your babysitter? I don't know. Is he, he is awake? I do Was he drinking or anything? Unfortunately, I thought the worst. I thought alcohol or drugs would get bad a lot with teenagers, and which are all serious. Are your mom and dad left? Yes. And your babysitter's there? Yes. And he, he passed out? He just fell down. All right, where did he fall down the stairs? No, I'm just went over here in the living room. Marissa fell down on her chest, and I didn't know what happened then. I was a lot, a lot. Scared. He just fell? Yes. Okay, what's his name? Um, um, it's a her, Marissa. Oh, it's a girl? Marissa? Yes. Okay, what's your first name? Jeff Eastman. Your name's Jeff? Yes. Okay. What's your brother's you name? Can you please help us? Yeah, we're on the way, Jeff, but I want you to stay on the phone with me. Okay. Matthew was crying when I called 911. He couldn't see me. He thought I left. That's why he was crying. That's why um, he felt sad for Marissa. Where does Marissa live, Jeff? I don't know. I really, I really don't know. Okay, all right, Jeff, calm down. Stop it, stop. Where are your parents at? Um, the Funny Bone and somewhere else. The Funny Bone and somewhere else? Yes, I don't all know. Right. Linda, can you call the Funny Bone? Ask for the Eastman family who's there for a show. The Funny Bone. Okay, got it. It's all right. Can you can you do me another favor? Can you go feel her face and tell me if she's cold or warm? Okay. Warm. It's warm. There's no air coming out of her nose? Um, I'll check. When I gave him things to do, 
I think that kept his mind off the real problem, and he did a wonderful job. He was like the little man of the house. No. Is her chest going up and down? Yeah, no, that's what she's laying. She's laying on her chest? She's laying, yes. Okay. Did you try to shake her? I, I tried everything. I tried to put Are my... Are we there? My brother. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Listen to me. Go answer the door. The policeman's there. Okay. Go answer the door. The dispatcher told me there's a policeman at the door. That's why I looked in the windows and it was. Four minutes after Jack's call, Officer Michael Anders arrived at the scene. I didn't know what was the matter at that point. All I knew was I had a girl down. So I told the boys, so you go back out and wait for the animals because if I had to do CPR, I knew I didn't want them to have to see any of that. Can you hear me, Marissa? Can you hear me? I let the ambulance people come in and told them where the policemen were. Just go ahead and get the collar on her. Okay, why don't you go ahead and go through that first and see if you can find anything regarding it. One of the first paramedics on the scene was Scott McCarty. Come on, Marissa, say something. We were calling to Marissa, trying to get her to respond. We couldn't get her to respond. We were looking at a 15-year-old girl that looked healthy, and to see her laying there unresponsive like she was, it was starting to get tough. Come on, Marissa, talk to us. Talk to us, what's the problem? I did find a high school identification card. 257, okay, check Marissa. for contacts on Marissa, Marissa Sterling. I couldn't find anything that indicated any allergies or why she was in this position. When Marissa's parents arrived, she was still in a coma. Are you mom and dad? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How has Marissa been this week? Uh, Marissa, can you hear that? Right when I looked at her and her eyes were rolled back in her head, I was truly panicked. Okay. You don't know what's wrong with no, her. No, right now we don't. Marissa? We've done can everything we with her. Yes, you can ride with us. My heart was breaking and inside I was screaming because I just, you know, I wanted answers and I just wasn't getting any. One, two, three, lift. Marissa? It was a very difficult time to think that someone that you brought into this world and care for more than you could say uh, is here in this helpless situation. The ambulance is going to bring Marissa to the hospital. That's why she'll get all better. Doctors subsequently determined that Marissa's collapse was caused by a combination of dehydration, lack of food, and a bad reaction to cold medication. There it goes. I felt guilty that I had to put him through that, especially after I heard the call. I should have been more reliable and taken my medicine with food. If I could tell Jack anything, I would tell him how much I love him and how much he means to me. And um, I could never say thank you enough for what he did. Okay. When Jack was three and a half, four years old, I had told him that if ever there was a problem that he could call 911 and they would come and bring him help. But we had not talked about dialing 911 for quite a long time. So for him to remember that, I was very proud. I took care of Marissa, my brother, and my sister. That's why Marissa's all better. And um, she's been coming back and we've been playing. <laughs> 